All right, welcome back to the best game I've created. This is Digimon World 3. I am your host, Squirrel RPGs. Let's get it popping. <clears throat> All right. We're just going straight into the gym battle here. I just want to check out my stuff real fast. Make sure I have a halfway decent lineup. Yeah, it'll probably be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out as we go. So, last episode, you saw that I was definitely, I definitely pulled up on a Mega, Black Mega Gargamon way too fast. So, I put him somewhere else in the guide. I think he's like after level 45 now. Oop, our cover is blown. All right, so this guy, just like most other dinosaurs, is going to be weak to ice. I'm going to go ahead and make him a figment of the future, of the past. Metal Wolf Claw. This is actually the strongest ice move in the game, which honestly it should be, but... It's just weird that he gets no other ice moves at all. Cool. <clears throat> One turn take down Delta Mom. Like it. Love to see it. Alright, our first red Triceramon I've ever seen. He is also weak to ice, so this is gonna come straight out. Next. No counter that time. Uh, let's go for a fight. <clears throat> um, I'm kind of worried if I let him hit me again, so I'm not going to. Ooh, I think Chimeramon does use dark though. I am gonna go for a metal field here. Can I block, please? Alright, this is gonna risk. This is a risk. Actually, this is a super huge risk. Because Chimera Mon's gonna move first and KO me. Dang, I didn't think about it. That's a lot of XP going to waste. Ah! I should have healed. He has an instant KO attack. I did not have that in my notes. Alright. Resist Thunder and Dark. What are my options? Metal Greymon or Skull Greymon. Let's go for Skull Greymon. I just threw away a ton of EXP. Alright, anyway. Green Wave. Oh, come on, don't do that. That's not going to do much. Between Metalfield and Patamon's Wisdom, yeah. And Skull Greymon itself being this in the dark. Are you telling me his Wisdom is just that much higher than mine? Where he can just continuously hit me? And I can't land a shot? He got a crit that time too, like what the heck? You're kidding me. 
Watch this. Oh, I managed to land a hit though. He's really just spamming Dark Elemental. Does he have any other attacks? Because if he doesn't, then I don't need to be running Counter Crest on uh, Katamara at all. Finally, gosh. And when I actually land a hit, it hurts. It's just. Landing that hit is tough. What is this guy's wisdom value? Hold up, let me check. There's no way I should be missing this often. That sounded like a successful KO. Or maybe not. His, maybe his regular attack just has the ability to KO. Yeah, no, this is ridiculous. I'm going to add to the notes that he has ridiculously high wisdom. Because there's no way. There's absolutely no way. Give me a second. Chimeramon. Wisdom. So his defense is 5 and his wisdom is 4. But his wisdom seems like it's a 5. Alright, I got one more chance. One more chance. Finally, gosh. Only 343, so my first hit was a crit. That's fine. Do I have any faith in... Let's just try it. Flame Lance, go. How? After Patamon missed that many times, Flame Lance can land. Whatever. Regular attack's probably better. But, oh, good, I have water. I was worried I still had bolt power attached. No. Spiritual attack is still better. Oh yeah, I did say his defense is 5. I'm thinking about using a revive disc on uh, Kumon, by the way. Not sure, but I'm thinking about it. All three hit. You're kidding me. Flame Lance does more damage, though. Give me one second. I'm trying to. There we go. Hopefully that tones down the rain in the background. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hit that. Alright, two blocks. Just for Patamon. There is a danger that that one hit KOs me. Because it has the one hit KO sound effect. All right, this flame lance would be it. Would be it if it hits. And of course, it doesn't hit. All right, I'm gonna have to bring Kumon back from the dead. I'm definitely gonna have to bring Kumon back from the dead. Okay. Like this. I don't even know where I got that. Alright, time to finish this. 
Wow, that eats up my MP really fast. You're dead. Okay, about to say, like, what? buy another one of those life discs because that came clutch at the last freaking second. D did I kill him? Where did he go? Okay, back to the real world for us. Keyboard's gonna get in the way of what of this thing. You really wanna add the police to that situation? <laughs> Granted, the ability to direct traffic is great. Give me a second. I need to add uh... So its speed isn't very high, but its defense and its wisdom are super high. And it also has a one hit KO move. And then it has no actual weaknesses, which is absolutely, it's actually pretty busted of a Digimon. All right. So we do have one, um, we do have one new uh, auction coming up. We have to go all the way back to uh, Asuka City though for it. Okay. That shall save here. We'll go get that auction knocked out, and we'll come right back. Cause we gotta go do some other stuff. Now this time, we can, if we want to, go to the uh, kicking forest and go that route. However, um, it's faster to go the uh, Central Park Shell Beach route. So that's what route we're gonna take. Plus we get to pick up some uh, Power S's while we're there. It really let me down with wisdom. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like I thought, I thought my wisdom was high enough. Really? Oh, that was a crit. Okay, moving forward. I didn't try to move through wire force with the uh, toggle frame limit, so I'm just gonna slow down. It's probably just as effective, just as fast.
Yeah, this is like the biggest side quest of a uh, of an auction ever because you don't have any direct path to the auction. Oh, I kind of lie there. Going backwards is faster than going forwards. Oh. oh, was that a skip? Look at that block! Let's go, baby! All the blocks! As soon as I untoggle for a moment. So annoying how dense the uh, Digimon are in here. Because the encounters are like, they feel like they, they're like turned up inside this area. This isn't the right way, right? Grant, it's a small area, so maybe they just want to make sure that you have a good enough chance to get all the stuff in here as far as the Digimon drops, but still. It's annoying. Especially when Nilmon just ends up fleeing all the freaking time. Here's my favorite. Oh, dang, I had it. Now let's see if I can just do it. There you go. My favorite seabed, because it's just a straight shot. You don't really have to worry about the obstacles. You just kind of brute force it. means you can play it at full speed. Alright, what's next? Ooh, recovery quest is coming up. I'm about to figure out if going after Black Seraphimon is a mistake. If it is, we'll just come back later. And I feel like it's probably going to be a mistake. If I'm having trouble inside the jungle shrine, I'm definitely going to have trouble with uh, Black Seraphimon. Come on. 
please. There we go. Save it. And now we're right back to the Amaterasu. By the way, when I'm setting these things up, I'm not really paying attention to uh, the minimum level you could beat a boss. I'm looking for a consistent level. That's why, even though I beat Mega Gargomon, Black Mega Gargomon at uh, level 31, that was definitely not consistent at all. I got incredibly lucky and unlucky at the same time with it. Like, I got a lot of counters, but like almost all of them were blocked. So right now I'm just trying to move forward until I hit a wall. Once I hit a wall that I can't get through reasonably well, then that's going to be my first uh, training spot. Again, it's about consistency. If I can beat the problem consistently, then even with Padamon, even though it's slow, kind of, it's still consistent. Whereas if I'm losing, even if it's a fast loss or like it's a fast win loss situation, it's like high risk, high reward. I wouldn't consider that to be an outcome worth continuing. All right, Patamon's down. Where the blue one's gonna come in? Oh, I should have healed. Uh, so the thing about Numan in general are, is that they are tanky. So if something looks very hard or very soft, it's probably very defensive. So in a new amount of case, yeah, you want to be using magic against it for the most part. Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, this is too dense. I, I would say this area is too dense. Fortunately, I got a nice crit there. Dance feather, nice. That ups your uh, evasion. Gosh, just getting out of the first part of that was rough. Oh, wrong way. That's gonna cost me some time.
I like this BGM too. I just kind of didn't want to be in that area anymore. <laughs> Alright, now that we're here, let's save. Like I said, the, the sound design on this game goes hard as heck. I need to add that to the uh, to the list of stuff that you can get MP proxy here, even though it's not a very good item by itself. So, <clears throat> Metal Garuman and Slow Greymon, these are. Honestly, <clears throat> Metal Greymon, these are the first three Digimon you're seeing me take all the way to the end of their leveling cycle. Because all three of them have Megas that unlock at level... Actually, I don't, know. I don't think I'm actually going for Mega Greymon. I don't think I'm actually going for Mega Greymon. But I am taking Metal Guru Mon all the way up to level 90. Ooh, I might lose here. Hell Mary. Worked. Like I said. If it's squishy or extremely hard looking, like metallic or rock, it's probably resistant to uh, physical damage. Like slimes, resistant to physical damage. But again, weak against uh, magic, so just pick a magic attack and shoot it. It's just that magic costs MP, that's why I don't like using it so much. Especially if it's worth the dang thing. Like using Ram Wave is extremely punishing for me. Alright. So after that, what was that, like a 20 minute detour? Let's head on over to South Sector for the fifth badge. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it during the stream. Probably not, actually. I'm probably going to get it at the start of the next stream. Depending on what happens. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, I should use some wind attacks there. How, how can you evade? How can she slap? Come on. I might get wiped by a Snymon. Like, seriously wiped by a Snymon. I got wiped by a Snymon. Alright. That's not much of a time loss because I literally just saved. Easiest way to check is make sure I there's a actually I had to right right the first time. Sniper goggle, we got it. Cool. Alright, this time we're gonna save. Cherry Mon. Um Ooh. This has this can be a good thing. If I can get my finger on, oh, hold up, excuse me. I'm gonna have to slow it down so I can focus. 
Ooh, that's not good. Need more hits. More hits. They hit like multiple times, right? No, just once. Ooh, that was a slight crit. Let's see if we get the recovery press. Nope. That's fine now. Stop it. Come on. I hate when I farm for an item and I immediately get that same item later on when I'm not even trying to get it. And I have a bad feeling, like if I didn't farm for it in the first place, I would never get it like just accidentally. But when I'm not trying to get it, I always get it. Let me make sure. Is this actually Green Cherry Mon? I think it is. But I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, this is Green Cherry Mon. Alright, so I'm just annoyed. I hate getting stuck on this type of stuff. Mm. Black one is really strong. Okay, we got it. <sighs> what was that like? Uh, that had to be like five minutes. I need to start giving a disclaimer whenever I start farming an item. Hey, 
look at the bottom of your uh, of the progress bar. I'll probably end up putting a uh, a skip spot right there. Yes, yeah, Simon is actually a beast. I need to respect it. And this is only the first version you run into. Okay. So we have maxed out. Ooh, okay. So we maxed out Metal Guru now. Okay. So it's just Patamon and Vmon from here on out until I get to the next lab. No pressure. You guys want to talk to him just to see what's going on because eventually they're going to get be taken away right that's not good hopefully it goes by gym when pokemon rules Nope, it doesn't. So in Gen 1 Pokemon, if you uh, KO an enemy di a Pokemon, you don't take po poison damage and the toxic counter doesn't increment, right? But that doesn't apply here. Ooh. Am I double poisoned? Feels like it. Feels like I should swap out. Have a mega tornado would be very clutch right here, right now. Um, I think for the sanity of it all, I just go for my best attacks. Even though bugs resist dark. That's not good. If I have one more dude keep in mind, I'm going to have a hard rough time. That was a good counter though. But I'm still double poisoned, I think. Oh, Sukumon. I think it acts just like a regular... No... I can't remember. I know not use dark against it. Outside of that, I think Panama just dies here. Oh, that's not good. Please get up. Please counter. Oh, no. That's not good. Both these guys are maxed out, so I don't want to use them. Watch him come out and immediately get hit by poison. <laughs> Alright, fine, 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 fine. We'll leave this guy alone for now. I I'm actually still kind of another level, so I might need to go grinding a little bit. Alright, you know what? Let's just go for the good stuff here. Flame Lance, right out the gate. Stop playing games with him. Games played. I'm gonna come back and beat that guy's behind though. I'm gonna tell you that. But I need to do some grinding for sure.
Yep. Siege of Mines, Water Power S, right? Yep. Let's take it. That's not good. Alright. So it's weak to dark since it's a dragon. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to say it now. Just go ahead and look at the bottom of your screen where the progress bar is for the video. And uh, yeah, there should be a break in it. Just skip to that break. And that'll be where I actually get the item. Because it might take me a little bit. Hopefully not too long. And save, save. Come on, come on, come on. Show me the money. That should be enough for the delay. Let's go. Please give it to me. Ah! Alright, let's try again. New safe state. Send it. Saw different numbers. I was got a little bit hopeful there. Trying a different approach. Water Power S is going to be one of the best water powers you well, one of the best powers you can get just because of how many, well, number one, how few water attacks there are in the game. There are no physical water attacks, period. And um, only two magical water attacks from Angelo Mon and... Uh, Rosemont. But there are a ton of machines in the game. So before you get bulk power, water power is definitely one of the better ones. And it doesn't have the same coverage as electric does, which has stuff everywhere. There's not even a uh, unique water move, whereas electric gets uh, Angelo Mons, signature move, as well as Kabuteri Mons. Signature move, as well as growl mods.
they say insanity is trying the same thing more than once and expecting a different outcome. But that's exactly how you farm in this game. Just keep trying the same thing over and over. Ooh. Kill by counter. Ah, no luck there. Well, I shouldn't say there are no physical water attacks. Gesselmine has a physical water attack. But at the same time, there's basically none that the player can use. Besides using water power. Come on, just give me the freaking out of... Let's try something cool. No look. Why can't I clutch this? I did not want this stream to go over an hour. And just based off the strength of Mega Seedramon, it's looking like it might do that. Oh, as soon as I say it. As soon as I say it, I get it. And that is called Murphy's Law for you. <laughs> but that time in a positive way. As soon as you just give up, now it's like, okay, now I gotta rush. Ooh. Not good. I don't have anything that's worthwhile against it either. Like it resists all my moves. There you go. Doesn't resist the counter though. That's what it don't resist. Other way. Other way. Other way. Come on. There we go. Don't you love how the water basically looks like blood? Um, 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely that guy. Alright, so now we're in the city. This is actually our first time getting being able to get weapons that are better than the ones we already had equipped, so we will do that. But first we'll uh switch up our digivolves a bit. So what's next for Kumamon? What's next in the world of Kumamon? Where is your journey taking you next? Mm. Talmon. Talmon gets what? Thunderfield? I don't want to go backwards into Grismon. Talmon has the stats of a high ultimate. Maybe I do just keep moving forward with the metal uh, guru mom, because nothing here is striking my fancy. <clears throat> and everything else is going to come afterwards. If I level up XV mod, I can get small heal. But I don't have enough MP to make that worthwhile. I continue leveling up Crap Leo mod. I think I get. Would I get Impact Rush from Crap Leo mod? Let me double check. I'm looking for <clears throat> No, I wouldn't get impact rush. I'd get soul charge. Whereas with Grismon, I get Hammer Blow, right? I think I might go with Grismon here then. I get Hammer Rush and I can load it at 75. Yeah. Alright, so there's nothing I really need to do here. I just need to swap things around a little bit. I just need to get the level 75 with Grismon. Alright. What about Patamon? Let's 
Still can't load new dark techniques. Cool. Cool, cool, cool see it. Still can't load plan lights. Literally, what am I working this hard for? What am I working this hard for? Alright. I do want to go here and heal up real fast. Let's check out the good old armory. I think he's back here actually. Yeah. Yep, we got new stuff. I already have the wild shield? I don't think I do. Alright, Misty Rod. And yeah, so that'll be it. So as always, ooh, this is nice. I've been me, you've been awesome. I'm gonna finish equipping this dude, but I don't want this to run over an hour and we're already at the 55, 59 minute mark. So I'm just gonna pick out the best armor here and then I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.